Hi, my name is Emily Bender. I am a voice technology consultant, strategist, and speaker. I'm also the founder of Wealth Voice. When we landed on the moon in 1969, there were guidance computers aboard Apollo 11. You can see the stars and stripes on the lunar surface. Beautiful, just beautiful. The original iPhone had 120 million times faster computing power than those guidance computers. So put that another way, the calendar app alone on the iPhone 6 is 32,600 times faster than the computing power aboard Apollo 11. Technology is moving at an accelerated pace. When you think of Moore's law, which says that the transistors on a microchip double every year while the cost of that computer is cut in half, we know that this is heading in basically an exponential growth curve versus logarithmic. The pace of adoption and advancement is increasing faster every year. Let's talk a little more about devices and then I'm gonna explain where this is headed for voice technology and how you will communicate in the future. This is the first gen Amazon Echo. It is the iconic device of the voice first era. So this was the first really popular smart speaker. It came out in 2014. Now it's like a big brick, almost Zach Morris cell phone and it's heavy and clunky and it doesn't look so slick anymore. At the time, it was an incredible advancement. But in 2019, this is not the only device that's come out since the original Echo, but this is one that's important to look at. It's the Echo Show 5, five inch display, multimodal, meaning it has voice and visuals. So it's a voice controlled smart display and it was an under $100 price point first time ever, very important. So this replaces that Echo Dot that a lot of people had from Christmas stockings and holiday gifts, and now it has a screen. Now, these smart speakers are the training wheels of voice. The voice assistant and the AI that powers it is the real technology, and that's what's important about all of this. The smart speaker is just the hardware that makes us comfortable with it and gets us used to interacting with that AI assistant. With technology like the iPhone, which most people are somewhat addicted to, if you look at the dopamine in the brain, the gamification of the apps, everything about it, and averaging hundreds of device pickups a day, it's unsustainable and unnatural. We are gravitating and moving to voice, which is the fastest growing consumer technology of all time for a good reason. So what do you do for your marketing and your communications when people are going to see your brand, your texts, your emails, your tweets, your Instagram posts less? In the future, we aren't picking this device up so much. We're just using our voice to control technology to get things done. You have to become an authentic voice and you have to be present on the technology of the future. What happened to the businesses that didn't embrace the early internet, the ones who stayed in the yellow pages. Someone ate their lunch. It's game over. So now is the time to start embracing voice if you haven't already. This is why we are building Wealth Voice. Wealth Voice is an easy and simple way for you to establish a customized premium brand presence on Alexa and use it as a communications tool to directly put your authentic, warm voice in your client's ear anytime you want. We have been going through a really thoughtful brand architecture and brand exercise over the past week or two with starting Wealth Voice. This is the startup story of Wealth Voice, so I have to touch a little bit on where we stand with all of that. In doing that, and this is so important for anybody starting a business, you have to really understand the North Star and the problem that you're solving. You cannot manufacture a problem that you think should be solved. It has to address a problem that's in the marketplace. But the beauty of the problem that we are addressing with Wealth Voice is that it's not a problem that most people fully realize they have. And some of the greatest technology of all time solved a problem that we didn't fully realize we had. But when something better came along, we would never go back to the way things were before. One of Wealth Voice's advisors, Nick Ali, has been instrumental in helping through user flows and building out the product to make it as simple and easy as possible. This is the key to everything I wanna put out. It has to be beautiful and simple. So thank you so much to Nick and other advisors, John Porter from Three Bell Capital. We have so many great people that are advising us and I could not do this alone. So further together, 
the true key here is thinking about how will you communicate tomorrow and maintain that authentic voice that's true to who you are and what you believe to the messaging and the philosophy that you stand for as a business, how will you transmit that message? If we aren't seeing screens so much anymore, you're gonna to have to do it by voice. So request an invitation at wealthvoice.ai if you are interested in joining us and realizing that tomorrow is already here. Subscribe here for future updates and hit the bell when you subscribe so you'll be notified when we post a new video. Also, you can follow me on social media. My handle is at Emily Binder everywhere. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you next time with another update of the Wealth Voice startup story.